been in the audiobook version. Okay? We still have some stuff here that we might not want, so we might have to take that out by hand. Like I said, it's more of a art than a science. But if you recognize patterns like that, like like all the lines you don't want have the word weak in them or something, then you can make it easier on yourself. Also, you can look for lines that begin with numbers or end with numbers. There are different regex patterns you can use in that. Let's assume that this is my final version of the uh, text file, and I want to convert this into a audio file. So I'm going to save this. I still have the PDF, remember. I can still work with that on my own. As a, you know, I can make notes on that or whatever, make copies of that. But this is what I call a script. So I'm going to name this as script of heating brochure. Save it on the desktop. Okay. And now it's that's the name of it. Now the last step is to open another program. And this program is called Text Aloud. T-E-X-T. T-E-X-T-A-L-O-U-D. T-E-X-T-A-L-O-U-D. Okay. This is a program that is basically takes text and reads it aloud. Now the voice that comes with the text aloud is not very good. It's very tinny and computery. The voice I recommend is this one called Neo Speech Paul 16K. And this costs a little bit extra to buy the, the Paul voice uh, from, from text aloud. It's actually created by AT&T, but it's very good quality. So all you do, either you can load the text directly into text aloud with copy and paste like we did before with regex or what I like to do is just go straight to the batch file converter because a lot of times uh, if it's a long book I'll, ha I'll have it uh, split into more than one part there's a maximum level I think it's probably one gigabyte that the output file can be if you go way over like if you're going to translate or you're going to convert a very large file then it might not let you do it and it might just you know spend a lot of time doing nothing so I like to cut big files into smaller pieces maybe like a maximum of about 200 pages per, fi per file okay so just in here there are some options you're going to add the file and that file is going to be the one I just made script heating brochure open then the output directory you can put that in I'm going to leave it the way it is uh, the encoding is going to be the same. Output is going to be MP3. Quality and the voice is the Paul voice. And then you just go to convert. And it converts it. The output is going to be named script heating brochure, the same name as the text file, but now instead of .txt, it will be .mp3. And then you can listen to it either on your computer or on your MP3 player. So that's basically how you take text documents and turn them into audiobooks and or ebooks. And I hope it will help you to consume your digital media. And uh, if you like this video, you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. Hot water making use of solar energy as a long-term investment a solar energy water heating system makes a lot of sense.